The Australian Open starting in a couple of days' time. We have some new players that have pulled out of the event, some new withdrawals to speak about, and also a long injury list as well, which is probably more concerning because they're going to start on Monday or Tuesday with an injury cloud over their head. But let's start with the withdrawals, those who are not playing the Australian Open this year. We're starting with the women who are not playing, Simona Halep, she won't be attending. Daria Saville also out. Wong, Tormo, Naomi Osaka, and Venus Williams has also withdrawn. And the latest two people to withdraw from the Australian Open, Tomanovic pulls out of the Australian Open with a knee. Now she did pull out of tournaments beforehand. And Paola Bedosa also pulling out of the Australian Open after hurting herself in Adelaide last week. So two massive names to add to this list. On the men's side, we have Monfils. He's recovering from injury. Majak is also out. Opelka. Carlos Alcaraz, of course, is also out with some injuries. And Marin Cilic is the latest to withdraw from the Australian Open due to a knee injury that he suffered in the first week of the season. Now let's go over the players that have injury concerns because there are some massive names that are under injury clouds going into the first slam of the year. Kudamatova pulled out of Adelaide with a hip problem. Zhang also pulled out of Adelaide in the first couple of rounds with a leg problem. Sviantec pulled out of this week's tournaments due to a shoulder injury, but I think it's more about resting up for the Australian Open for her. Onstra Burr has a back problem that she suffered with in the first week of the season. And Emma Raducanu is still struggling with an ankle problem that she got in the first week of the year. So some massive contenders there under injury clouds. The only one on that list that I wouldn't be so concerned about is Iga Sviantec. I think the other ones though, genuine concern whether or not they can actually make it to the Australian Open on Monday. On the men's side, we have a long list as well. Starting with Yannick Sinner. He suffered in the first week of the season with a hip problem. Musetti, he pulled out with a shoulder injury at the United Cup. Diego Schwartzman's been struggling the last couple of weeks with injury, pulling out of Auckland last week due to a leg problem. Nick Kyrgios has been complaining about an ankle problem for the last two weeks. He hasn't played any matches except for the exhibition against Djokovic a couple of nights ago. Basilash Philly also pulled out with injury during the week, so he's a concern. Holger Runa, he pulled out of a tournament this week in Auckland. I think he's just sort of resting up though for the Australian Open. And of course the big one, Novak Djokovic and the hamstring injury. We've been talking about it all week and he did have a lot of tape when he played that exhibition against Kyrgios the other night. So that's a definitely a concern for Djokovic. I think he'll play, but his movement might be limited because he did have a lot of tape on the back of his leg the other night. So you have it. They are the withdrawals and the injury concerns. And we're only two, three weeks into the season and there are so many players that are already injured. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most worried about at the Australian Open and who are you most worried about with the injuries? Or who are you most disappointed about not seeing at the Australian Open after after some of the players have all been... After some of these names have already withdrawn, but that's the Australian Open starting on Monday, and some massive names are going to be having injuries going into the first slam of the year.